Hello, I'm James, the Nerd Brit Skinner. I'm Fraser, Fraser Oliver Oliver. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Great, uh, do you know what? We're about to start a podcast, aren't we? No, no, we've got like an No, hour. we're not. Uh, what? Guess what? Do you guys remember something? Um, back in the day, back back in the depths of time, uh, we call it yeah. episode 22. We did. Um, Some people call it episode 22. Yeah, you know. Uh, uh, you got, we call episode 22 uh, the best mm. biscuit podcast of all time. It was a lovely time. 12 minute podcast. We talked was, about some biscuits. It was great. But, as as you might have known from community posts or uh, later episodes where we explained the situation, we lost that episode and therefore labelled 22 as that biscuit. There's a clip from that podcast that we lost. We had the clip, just not the full episode. Well. Now, this is episode 30. Ish. We're calling it episode 30, but we've got 22 back. I do think we should call it episode 30 ish. Episode 30 ish. <laughs> so basically, this is just episode 22. We, I, I managed to get the file back, so that's what this is. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a bit outdated, but it's a mix of. It is a good. It is a very good a podcast. Good we were very happy with it, and it means we get a week yeah. off. Um, not that we don't enjoy I was it, but. Say. It's, 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 you know, I feel, I feel It'd be like... a waste to not put it out yeah, there. Yeah, we've, we've done it. We might as well give it to you. Uh, we'll be back next week with a waffle. Uh, yeah. Enjoy the app. Cheers, guys. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Media for Best podcast. Didn't look what episode this was. I'm going to say 21. 22. Because <laughs> 22. Oh, so holiday was 21, right? Yes, there you are, right. Episode 22 with me, Fraser, Fraser Oliver Oliver. And, and me, James the Nerdy Skinner. We've nailed that now. Mine's just so much we, easier than We yours. have cemented that as the... Because it, it sounds odd if you just go Fraser, Fraser, Oliver, Oliver. So you kind of have to go Fraser, 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 Fraser Oliver, Oliver. Yeah, because it's like first name, channel name, surname. So it's like... You kind of want to bang it out as the two doubles, don't yes, you? Yes, it's Fraser. Yeah, it would be easier if it was Fraser, sure. Fraser, Oliver, Oliver. But it's got to be Fraser, Fraser, Oliver, Oliver. Yeah. There's a lot going on. It's it intense. Matter. How are you? Uh, I'm, I'm all right. I feel like I've, feel like I've got quite a few. I've, got, I've actually got content for this. this <laughs> video, <laughs> there we go. For the first time. Like, it took 22 episodes, but we have content. Um, <laughs> well, we've definitely got <laughs> fucking content. With so, that. context. Let's quick. So... We do a drink segment, obviously, at the start of this <laughs> podcast, and famously, we quite like Rubicon on this podcast. And we've talked about wanting a wee little Rubicon spot we have. for a while. And we haven't got that yet, so don't get so excited. Yeah, I've heard that up <laughs> very <laughs> hardly. But basically, there was like they did a competition on their Twitter. Um, we entered it on our pod, on the Media Group Best Twitter, and we won. Congratulations. Social media Jess. manager Jess. <laughs> Basically, neither of us could be fucked to run the Twitter for ourselves, so we outsourced that to Jess. Uh, um, not paid. No, yes. absolutely not. Nah. Uh, but no, so I'm we good. won that. So they DM was like, well done, you won, send us your details. Mm. Did that. No, t- 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 and then they were like, okay, what flavours do you want? I was like, no idea. Just like, a range. Now wait. Give us content. So I was like, give yeah, I was like, I was like, just give us a range. Oh, we're not too fast as the witch ones. We like Rubicon. And this <laughs> arrives. <laughs> Sorry, a range. It's fucking supermarket like, aisle. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the range in it. There we go. Oh, oh, so it's like, that. so let's that. move. Let's just move that back. Move the HP. Not sponsored. Hashtag. <laughs> right, we've got we've got some scissors. So are we just gonna like because so we have no. They haven't said if it's cans, if it's bottles. We don't know. This what's is in this here. is a live reaction. All we know because I, I was like, I'm not gonna open it. Do you want to cheekily snip that side, James, and then I'll let you... Hang on. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, it's ripped in the box. That's what i Right. This, is, this could be really underwhelming. But I'm kind of... Jesus! We're <laughs> cut! <laughs> What's the point? Well, well to be fair, 24 back. <laughs> but it's all the same flavour! We asked for a rabbit! Rubicon! <laughs> Just given us a 24 pack. Rubicon. <laughs> Rubicon. He's got a 24 pack. <laughs> Rubicon. I don't think I've had the mango one. I have. It's, 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 it's great, but Rubicon. Rubicon. Come on. Come on. You're not. We've done a lot. Rubicon. That publicity we've please, done for you. Please, please you. And it's. We're, we're trying here. We're not complaining. Boys. We did get this for free. So let's we not. Did get free. Let's not. But but, you, but the drink segment. Come on. I do like. I do have you never watched an episode of yeah, the Yeah, come on. Podcast? Do your research before you send free drinks to people. Oh, that's, that's a lot of fucking. 
<laughs> it's Rubicon though, isn't it? This is 12 drinks and drink <laughs> savings for us. It's the you same know. drink. Well, if you want one through the episode, James. Oh, just let me know. Yeah. Oh, I can supply it. <laughs> fucking plenty. <laughs> the same fucking flame for it. Oh. Well, I've genuinely never had this one before, so I'm quite excited. Right, uh, neither that's, have I. That's when the, I've lied <laughs> and someone goes back and finds a yeah. clip from the podcast. Right? I don't think I've had it. But, you know. Bangs. Bangs. I've had this in... Oh, um, it is really good. Honestly, bit of nostalgia for oh, you. Oh, it is. Really um, essay season. Uh, the, the, these in bottle form in the library... I had about a couple of day, I reckon, every time. Because they're just, it's that like mix of like refreshing, sweet fruit. Yeah, like they've got that. That's, fruity. Because you can't amazing. like slam like Cokes and shit. No, so but just, that's got like, the like, you can drink that, it's drinkable. I mean, Good job, we've got 24 of the cans. <laughs> it is drinkable. Right, Rubicon. I love you. But what's the point of asking what you want if you're just going to stiff us? Ignore, ignore okay. what we <laughs> said. It's all right. Like it, it's fine. It's fine. Right. Rubicon, try a bit hard on that. Thank time, you, boys. but you know. Thank you, but come on, like, like genuinely, immediately, content and ideas for content for this it's episode. Gone. I've gone da- right down. You could have a clip out of that, Rubicon. Yeah, we were, we were about to promote you big time. And we were dedicating a lot of this episode to that, and look what like, you've done. Like, what can Are you we proud do? of yourselves? What, what can we do with with, 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 there's, there's, there's no so con- extra Rubicon, content though. we can get out of that. That is a lot of <laughs> Rubicon bowling. <Yeah. laughs> there's there's a map video in that. <laughs> Stack 10 cans up. Who cares if they get fizzy? We've got 14 fucking more. <laughs> <laughs> Rubicon bowling. There we go. Well, We've got another one to bowl them with. Rubicon versus Rubicon. Get one can That's bowling good. with 10. With that... Like geometrically yeah. knock him over. Probably not. You have to roll them. Yes, there's some force. Then <laughs> sonic <laughs> them. <laughs> like, explodes everywhere. Be fine. Good funny. It's your gaff, not mine. Yeah, and it's free, and it's all the same flavour. So I, I don't want to be too like. <laughs> it's it's it's, it's, tough. A, it's a free. It's twenty four free cans of Rubicon. I think let's. We wanted some content out of this. Um, didn't get it. Um, but, but I've got a great drink. Big up. It is great. And we've got loads. We've got 22 more, James. How many jokes can we get out of how you, many Rubicons we've that's got? That's the new meme format, though, isn't <laughs> that's it? The, that's the, <laughs> it's the MCU in fucking Rubicon <laughs> form. <laughs> yeah, one for every There's fucking film. too much of it now. <laughs> <laughs> the law's too deep on the Rubicon mango. Oh, my God. <laughs> that fucking muscle memory on how Mario Rubicon takes. <laughs> I'm just going to taste it everywhere now. <laughs> it's going to be on my tongue permanently. Oh, I, I wouldn't complain, to be fair. <sighs> Big up Rubicon. Go buy yourself a Rubicon. Yeah, go, if, you, if you've never had a Rubicon, do that. Go buy yourself right. one. Please. My, my Facebook is now flooded with sponsored ads of Rubicon. Yeah. Since we started speaking about it, they're like, yeah, have all of it. And I'm like... It, genuinely, it is so creepy it's how they can, like, they, like ads no... Like, genuinely... Yeah. On my banking app, I did a credit score checker. Yeah. And my first three Facebook ads were all credit score checkers. It's genuinely creepy. And I was like, I, I get the internet knows the internet. You know, like Amazon yeah. can like feed that data in. How do you know what I'm doing on Lloyd's bank I don't, I was about to say, should I say, like, who, uh, everyone, yeah, yeah. Who, who, who gives a fuck what my bank is? I'm trying to see if I can find, like, literally, I'll just get, like, a sponsored Rubicon out, and I'll be like, yeah, I like Rubicon, how do you know I like Rubicon? Like, leave, leave me alone. Also, I feel like this is the point to specify, uh, I was out last night, and I'm not, I'm not hanging home over or anything, but my voice is slowly going, so fingers crossed I make it through this entire podcast. And the potential second podcast we film after. potential second podcast. To be fair, if, if we get to an hour and we've done content, even if we can't sort out that other podcast, we just podcast. Also, I was thinking, well, this no, this is completely irrelevant. Enjoy. Um, 
would you like to record a Shrek the Musical reaction tonight? Because <laughs> <laughs> I've not had one off of my channel in ages. And I was like, oh, we'll do yes. it. It's been would, too yes, long. Okay, cool. Please, we'll do that. Please, please, please. We'll do that. I'm bothered. That's yes. great. I was like, I was like, well, because oh, we should start. I've not, I've not had one of them for ages. People love them. Also, are we still doing the little vlog segment of this podcast? Yes. Because I think that'll be that'll be a lovely little. Absolutely. I think oh, we need to try them. We need to we try will. them. We do. Uh, this is. Should we say that? Because that sounds really weird. Otherwise. Yeah. So, uh, McDonald's. I'm not sure if you've heard of them. Uh, quite a quite a little small little niche. Yeah. Quite. Yeah. <laughs> that joke's dead. Um, Completely. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. Um, but they, as you probably know, have released halloumi sticks, and I want to try. Quite them. like halloumi. Fucking like halloumi. Oh, I went to Nando's the other day. They had the halloumi back. I, I was a fat shit. Not gonna lie. I had like. <laughs> 400 sticks I had, of halloumi. I had, well, I had, I had a plate of halloumi. Basically, I have this trick at Nando's where if I'm feeling hungry, because I get four thighs, because mm. I'm not putting my Nando's yeah. in fucking bread. No. I can buy a loaf of Warburton's if I yeah. want. Like, I might as well just get my fucking yeah. spiced chicken. But then I'm fat. So what I do is on the extras menu, you can just get two extra thighs. So I just eat six, six stuff. <laughs> I respect that. No, I respect that. And then I also get like Perry chips and a spicy rice. Oh, oh spicy rice is gone. The, the spicy rice with the chicken. It's just all. Oh, Nando's is great. And it's one of those things where I pro I'd probably happily eat more. I just I just fucking love Nando's. Like honestly, I know if I go to Nando's, I'd rather just have my fucking fill and just not eat the rest of the day. So I just yeah, love just it. Just have one massive Nando's and then just. That's I've it. I've found more recently. Because I'm um, back at work mm. while, while we're in Western, um, hopefully you know the context of where I'm Yeah, you can definitely lives. see we're not. We're not, we're not in Maybe Falmouth. we just didn't address that. Yeah, big up. Western, in it. Um, so I found I'm a bit less like, flexible like, mm. in my days. And what that means is that like sometimes if I'm working like a really odd shift, like if I'm doing a three till ten. Yes. For example, because my shift patterns can be really odd, it's one of those things where I don't. If I can avoid it, I don't, I don't want to eat at work because a limited amount to what I can actually scram. Mm. I don't really want to eat at like fucking eleven o'clock at night. Yeah. So I just have a big lunch and then just sleep. Fair enough. <laughs> no, I, and, I, and I find my body can manage that. I thought I wouldn't be able to, but I can. I have really struggled with eating recently, and like. It's weird, like, oh, oh, like oh, I don't have breakfast normally anyway. Mm. At work, I don't tend to get hungry, so I don't eat. So I literally just be up something in the evening, and that'll be it. Mm. It's weird. Like, yeah. Because uni is different, right? Here, I'm like, oh, it's just, yeah. Well, uni is just, you know, like, especially if you know, it's either you go to uni, a lot of times uni ends up being a lot of half days in the morning. Yeah. That's that's how a martyr seems to run, mm. is a, most, a lot of your days seem to be half days that stop in the morning. So you come home and you go, oh, Let's lunch. Yeah. And Basically, if I'm at home, I'll eat lunch. If I'm not, I mm. won't. I, it's the same with uni, I think. I just, I just find this place. I, I rarely, I, I just don't eat breakfast. I'm no. literally, unless it's an assessment day. Yeah. Because then I'm like, get me fucking oats out. Yeah. I get me fucking oats out. There we go. <laughs> There we go. There go. What, a, what, a, what a quote. Get me fucking there we go. sound. <laughs> the quote of the week will make no sense. It's pretty good. Let's have that in, in 12 minutes in. We've already got our quote of the week. Yeah. Jess, get on get this. Yeah, come on. Imagine if she's... One time, Jess does, like, doesn't watch the episode. Oh, can you imagine? I don't think that ever happened. She's generally the biggest fan of the like, show. Do we feel like we can just, like... Oh, imagine, like, episode, like, 49... We just like call Jess a cunt, and then she just like doesn't watch it. She got bored, and oh, then we just get away with calling like we get. Uh, that'll be our outro. We're the media every best podcast. We're going, <laughs> Jess. You're a cunt. And she would never know. That'd be great. It would. Absolutely great. Is might be great content. Like right. kind of mid. I'm fuming, James. But let me tell you why. So my <laughs> sorry, we no, just, no, we no, we don't have a casual chat. chat about like, this just came to and I didn't realise how annoyed this made me. Right, so <laughs> my SD card, right, is broke. So it works, but they're like plastic bending on it. Mm. So when I put it into my laptop, I have to like put it in a certain way and hold it while the files export. Otherwise it won't work. And I was like, this isn't ideal for anyone. No. Let me just get a new SD card. So I ordered one, right, from Argos, collect the same day. I thought, right, I'll get it after work. It's a fucking Sunday, isn't it, James? 
and they're not open past four o'clock. Why do shops still shut at half three on Sundays? Oh gosh, clock. Oh, well, they've moved to Sainsbury's now. But I'm like, why do shops still shut early on a Sunday? Who are you benefiting? No one. No, no it's, it's so annoying because it's... Who are you benefiting? <laughs> it's, who, generally, who's, who's, who's benefiting from that? No, literally no one. It's well, I, I don't get Sunday either. trading hours. I don't. It's so dumb. Like, people still need to go and use stuff on a Sunday. It's lovely when you work in the supermarket yeah. and you get to, like, finish at four. I still get time and a quarter. Mm. Fresh, fresh. I'm, I've, I've got my last shift um, mm. in six days and I'll never mm. have to go back to the bastards. Ever. I've got mine in a week and a half. Ooh! Ooh. Ooh ducky. Speaking of... Ooh ducky. Fuck's sake. Things that don't work unless you practically hold them okay. together. Uh, my life, no. Um, my phone when charging oh. it. Let no phones charge anymore. Like, because I had to. You know, I, <laughs> my voice only <laughs> starts to go. You know. So you know, my I had to like replace the charging port on my phone yeah. basically. Um, which I I I've definitely been given a shit charging port because basically, like, I just have to like. I really have to like engineer like the right yeah. angle for my phone to charge. I've like balanced mine up on something. I'm like it will charge. Like oh, I've seen your phone case by the way. Looks it great, isn't it? Yeah. Where did you get it. that? Um. So my it's boring. My phone case broke like here, and it was mm. clear. So it was like yellow, and I was like, this doesn't look great. Etsy, Muppet phone cases. Parker fan was like, you should get this. I, was, like, I need a new phone case. Let's go for it. Electric Mayhem. I love it. Buying it. Yeah, I thought it was really good. Um, yeah, so that's really irritating that my phone will rarely charge and it's just been a little bit of a, it's been, it's, it's getting, my phone is getting to that stage where it's starting to show signs of yeah. dying, um, a bit like me, um, and it's just, like, you know, like, things are starting to get a bit slow, like, it starts to, like, bug out a little bit, like, that's not ideal. No one wants that. it's just not ideal. And it doesn't sound ideal. Technology in my life is just kind of, like, fucking me in the arse at the moment. Yeah. Um, so, um, if you're watching this uh, and you're a fan of the Nerdy Brit, uh, subscribe. Oh, hey. Um, sh my channel's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> Died. Um, there hasn't been an upload, I think, in about 17 or 18 days. Um, is this, okay, mm. is this the laptop, James? So my laptop, um, this is also... But I won't explain this again. Basically, this is why the last podcast twenty one was a bit delayed because mm. I had a lot of problems with that. The twat. Um, so basically, uh, long story short, um, we worked out that it was hardware in the end, but my laptop couldn't connect to any form of Wi-Fi. Like networks wouldn't even register. Something to do with hardware in the computer. Don't ask me to get more technical than that. Now the problem, so he fixed it, cost fucking £45, brilliant. Now another problem that's come with that is, I'm very good with tech, my dad knows a bit about tech, so in his fixes, because it was possible that the problem was a software based problem, mm. so in doing it, in trying to fix it, he had to do a load of resets. Which basically meant... Is this like reset your laptop completely? Not, not quite completely. I didn't okay. lose a lot of files in terms of like, I've kind of like had to like do like, re like work out and like re-log into like a load of things. So right. I had to load like password resets and stuff like that. I've lost, one of the big ones was I lost a load of programs and like oh, ways okay, to do yeah. things. So... Like, I use an editing software that's no longer technically supported, so I had to find a way to, like, re-find that. Um, oh, yeah. At the moment, um, I don't actually have a way of making thumbnails um, due to one way or another, so I'm in the process of reworking out that. Um, it's just not ideal. I was all a bit tits up, and I'm just a bit like... I'm, I'm just... I'm just... I'm ready for the house, and I'll just, I'll just be... I'll be back on it with the house, and, and I'm not. I'm not saying you know I'm going to be a fucking slacker for the next like, but at the moment the Nerd Brush was dead. Which is yeah, it's not. It's not like you've gone. You know, I can't be bothered. It's mm. physically not being able. It's a barren fucking wasteland. Mm. 
batter and wave. It's like Bear Grylls, just like no water, just like being dropped in a desert. He's just fucking like dying. He's like sunburnt. He's just like starfished out on like the really Sahara. At this point. He's just, just just given up, going. You know what? Fuck this. And I've got kids and shit, but fuck it. I'm just gonna die on this fucking desert. That's how dead the fact is right now. Right. Okay. That's. I. I I'll be honest with you. That's not ideal. <laughs> um, it's it'll it'll be back. It'll be back. We're yeah, just um, in, in good time. All in good time. We 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 we're slowly working out. It's just it's also very demotivating. Yeah. Like that you just you know because because we weren't on our like best streak, but we were we we were doing pretty well yeah. on there. And I was vaguely happy with the progress. So a bit shit in it. <laughs> So it made me laugh so much. It was just the gradual look got me. While we're on YouTube, um, so I don't know why that made me laugh. I don't know if you're aware <laughs> of this, James, but I quite I I had a, I had the SpongeBob series, and now I've got the I'm starting the Newsies reaction series. Newsies reaction yeah. series. Mm. Do you know Newsies? Yeah. I do know. Do you know? Newsies, I got a but... comment from it. I got someone commenting saying, "Can you do Newsies? I love it." I was like, <laughs> "Sure." Thank God. Why not? Um, and copyright is a bit of a bastard. Like, you have to dispute... Well, that's all Disney. That stuff. Newsies is... Oh, no, because Spongebob looks like it as well. Okay. Shrek, okay. when we react to Shrek, that's like it. You have to go... I have to wait like, and dispute it. I've got a Horrible Histories video that is waiting to go up from about four months ago that keeps getting taken. I'm like, I will get this up. Will that be found with background? Yeah. And I've, I've still got a couple of um, tube videos stored and somewhere. Won't, uh, won't, but. And it just will not get past copyright. And so what annoys me is when you go on YouTube and find bootleg recordings of musicals that have been put up. And I'm like, how the f how has that got past, how has the full musical yeah. got past the copyright system? But my 10 minute video reacting to Bikini Bottom Day won't. But I, like, I don't understand it. Like someone, if you know how they get away with this better than me, but it's little things like, like independent like channels doing like fucking like lyric videos yeah. for like mainstream yeah. songs. And they're like, if I tried to use a bit of fucking Eye of the Tiger in this <laughs> podcast, they would yeet themselves out the fucking <laughs> they would window. would go insane. But if I try and... But they make a full lyric video to a yeah. song that's in the charts, like, they can go for it, yeah? Nah, big How? Yeah, but the, the bootleg musicals make no sense. Because they upload the full musical. And they're like, that's fine. Yeah. How is it fine? But what do you, what? It's, it's just stupid. Also, not gonna lie, you're a bit of a cunt if you do that, because you're just hurt. Oh, no, you, you, just, you just do yeah. hurt. That's why I choose not to watch bootlegs, because I don't want anyone to like, profit yeah. off it or anything. No, yeah. It's, it's, but, it's personal choice if you yeah. do. Then, yeah, do you, Prick. Just sit left but, less of you as a person if you do. Yeah, like, slightly less, quite a lot less, actually. Oh, um, like, uh, significantly less. Like, you just. Like, you're not, like, racist or anything, but, but like, you just. But, you, you, <laughs> You're just not ideal as a human being. But there's like... That was it before. Nah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Not ideal as a human being is I not the racist most savage. Of, well, you're not as bad as racist. No, it's the way just bring it. You know, it's a bit of... You know, people get weird, don't they? Yeah, people are But weird. I don't know how... It, it, every time I see one, I'm like, how have they done that? But you're like, I'm like so careful, like, make sure I don't show too much of the video, make sure I've got me talking as well and just me talking. And they're like, we'll just upload the full show and it's fine. Because like, when you do reaction videos and it's like, I'm going to mess about with the speed a bit, I'm going to yeah, flip, like, flip the thing, change like the vocals up or down yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and... shift it and still they copyright it. And then you guys are uploading the full line and getting like, oh, sure. How do they know at that point? Like, I don't get it how I can flip it and change the, change the pitch and all no. that stuff. And how have you... How do you know? Yeah. I don't get it. The, the mm. YouTube like copyright detection thing is mental. Shit. It's it's too good, it's boring. Sorry, boring. I'm trying to get 100 views on this fucking reaction video. That's def- yeah, that, that's, that's CPM that that's they definitely it, want. Yeah. Well, how fucking are you gonna throw the these? 20p that company might have made from that. Fucking hell. <laughs> fucking hell. Fucking hell. <laughs> But no, I, I've had that on my notes for so long, and I need to, because this is so... And I don't know if there was something I wasn't seeing. Yeah. I was like, is there a way to get... But there's not. Because like, how are they disputing that if they get it? Mm. It's not... There's no fair use there. You are just uploading the full thing. I don't... I don't know. Oh. It's a bit of a nightmare. Well, like, it, it is me. with that... Because obviously, if you react to... No, well, is the difference like bootlegs compared to like if you're reacting to the main show? There is someone who like the pro shot. Yeah, it's like a pro shot. Yeah. There's someone who was 
maybe the company like uploaded that file and gone, anyone using this, fuck them up. So if I reacted to a bootleg, not going to, because I'm not a cretin. May maybe that would be, but then would that just... Because, because that is... Because the YouTube copyright system is fully automated. Yeah. Or at least the initial check. I think someone the, the can speech. like someone can f someone who thinks they own the rights to the content can like post yeah. flag it, but it, if it comes up is, as the exclamation mark yeah. in the checks, it's fully automated. Yeah. So you probably could get away with all in the bootlegs. It's it's, 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 an, it's your it's original content technically. Tech, really? Oh, it's such a great but area. It's, it's original content via the fact it's your camera. Yeah, it, it's not you like have a pro. Filmed. Yeah, you. Yeah, it's as original as it can mm. be, as in no one else has filmed it from that bit. Honestly, it just it just violation gets on gets on my nerves when I'm just trying to upload a ten minute reaction video. Get that price. I can't do it. Get yeah, that just trying to get that. paid by YouTube yet? Uh, no. So I've crossed the payment threshold for it now, and once you cross it, you get paid between the twenty first and the twenty sixth. Okay. So I just missed that. So it'll be next month. Whatever I've got, I'll get paid between 21st and 21st. But now, any money you I've make got now 60 is... quid so far, so then anything I make now, I'll just get next month. Might pop an extra 10 on that. Yeah, which is great, isn't it? 70 quid. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, musical. <laughs> that's twice. Is that slowing down um, or is that. Oh, living life gone. Yeah, flex it, boy. Three. Enjoy it. Bask in this moment. I've, you do realise uh, I had quotes for this podcast and I didn't use them. Sweet. They won't know. It's only twenty five minutes, and we're, we're exactly. We'll just, I'll just, I'll just add the quote segment in now because I'm just a baller. Um, with that, because we've got rogue. We've, we've got fucking rogue. Because I'm that sick. Uh, it's like that. on. Oh, here we go. It's on eleven thousand, uh, hundred and eleven thousand views. Buying in. What's what's the graph looking like? Uh, come on, get, get me, get me the graph. We love a graph. Oh, oh, oh. England, Germany is still one. Oh. Happy with that? Over the place. We'll take it. You know what? We'll take it. That's what we'd like to see. Uh, Savinia, two hundred and eleven views in the last forty-eight hours. Buying it. Buying it. it. It is. It is slow. It's slowing down, down but it? you know what? But still CPM. Yeah. Still, still, still ticking along. So, a needle uh, pulling thread. Sorry. Do you want a hat trick of Jess quotes? Absolutely. Right. So. I'm going to go from them from least funny to most funny. Okay. Uh, we were about in Plymouth. Uh, and so the Aston Villa shirt sponsor, you know, most football shirts have like a... Yeah. Is Kazoo. Yeah. So Jess, in the middle of this shopping centre... So just shouts. Just points at this man and just goes, Kazoo! <laughs> I'm just... And the bloke looks awesome. back and just looks a bit like, what the fuck are you doing? I think I'd kill <laughs> what do you do? What did you do in that situation? I was just like, because I was be like, because no. I don't think, I don't, I don't think Jess doesn't even look back on herself and go, why did I do that? No, she's fully. She she's just herself. She's back to herself. I'm just there like, no, Jess, no, you can't. You just, it's, it's as simple as that. You, you just, just stop. <laughs> just get some help. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't can't even remember how this came up. No, I, I think I baby the concept behind this. Uh, Jess thinks farms, the concept of farming, yeah. uh, is Tory. If, uh, what? <laughs> how? What, what was her reasoning here? Uh, so what basically, I think she's made a stupid generalisation in terms of. She was saying, if people own lots of farms, they right. own lots of land, which is Tory. Okay. That, that makes slightly more sense. I don't think agricultural farming is Tory. No, I, think, I think the owning a lot of land, owning a lot of farmland, they, they, you've got a point there. But say that farming as an industry farming is Tory. Is Tory. Just John the world was not exactly <laughs> John in his strawberry fields, yeah. just trying to trying to make a living. Just, just the banana farmers making yeah, like two p for their bananas. <laughs> just like yeah, bunch of Tories you are. <laughs> yeah, I think that's <laughs> there's some logic to what like. But she then, needs to be more specific. That's Jess's problems. Just be more specific. Hmm. But like independent farming, you can't no, really call. You can't that. call that Tory. We can't do it. You'd be wrong. 
Now, after this next one, I'm going to get up the um, Google definition of um, narcissism. I thought you were going to say something else then. Very glad you didn't. Uh, I'm going to treat myself to a <laughs> to it down the Rubicon. Isn't it just like loving yourself? Okay, um... <laughs> so, Fraser, mm -hmm. will you read out the definition of narcissist? <laughs> okay. A, me <laughs> a mental condition in which people have inflated sense of their own importance, a deep need for excessive attention and admiration, troubled relationship, and a lack of empathy for others. Now, I, I genuinely cannot remember why I did this, but I jokingly called Jess a narcissist. As, as you know, without her, if, if it is specifically a personality disorder, then uh, obviously she isn't that, but she's, no. she's so, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes she like shows some narcissistic, some narcissistic, narcissistic yeah, like, traits. Yeah. Now, Jess googled narcissist because she didn't know what it meant, and I'm just going to reenact what she did. Uh, it's a mental condition in which people have an inflated sense of their own importance. Well, I am important. <laughs> Say. <laughs> and it just... It's just one of those just perfect. <laughs> it like, genuinely... You just sit there like, yeah. She just didn't realise how... how uh, I, I yeah. just, I was, we were on a phone call and I was just, I was just pissing myself. Yeah. How do you not realise like that you are literally... Feeding it, it was, it was funny. You no, know, it's just it's, doesn't like she just doesn't realize what she's saying, and then she'll just come up with something. And it's um, in other notes, yes. Um, I found a child that I didn't like. <laughs> right, I feel like we're gonna need some. Oh, okay. <laughs> you worked out. Yeah, we got there. So, okay. uh, me and Frazzle Dazzle the Balloon Man. <laughs> Uh, niche reference. Um, no one gets that. <laughs> well, it, it, explain that at some point. Um, Frazzle Dazzle the Blue Man and I, uh, and a couple of others, were at a ale and cider festival. Yeah, very nice. Uh, in Western Supermare. It's lovely, I'm going to see for it. Shout out. Um, and... <laughs> Gotta be one very of... careful, I love when it's like a minefield. <laughs> one of our friend's sister's friends brought her child. Which, first of all, don't bring a child to an ale and cider festival. Ten years old. And, and for context, about 20 minutes before this, we had literally seen a man trying to <laughs> dance, move like a just step, fall. and just yeet himself also, over. this must have been at what, like, eight, nine? Like, if this was late. I think I got there like six ish. Mm. And this was late. It was just <sighs> Saturday night in town. Ten years like just no. So we're talking to start. I can't remember how this comes up. Well, we were sat around a table and she just sort of sat down. None of us knew who she was. None so we were just like we were a bit confused by the child on our table. Yeah. And I think we vaguely tried to make some conversations. So I was just like, what's your finger tangled? Because if you know me, you know Tangled is a world-class film on every mm. level. Beautiful, angelic cinema. Yeah. And she took a while to process this because she didn't seem like the sharpest tool in the box. Um, and eventually came out with the answer of a 5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Now, I was fucking livid <laughs> at the score of 5 out of 10 for the Oscar-worthy cinematic masterpiece known as Tangled. <laughs> Absolutely fucking livid. Um... <sighs> Rightfully so, it's a great film. I can't even remember exactly what I said to the mother. But I it, can't, it something, no, I can't remember. But it was but something it was, along the lines of, yeah, you need to educate yeah, your child. Something to the effect of you're not a very good parent. Because I was... Uh, I, I, I don't, I'm not really too arse, they're never going to see this. But I was just kind of there like, I'm sorry, you've brought this ten-year-old to an ale and cider festival, she's a grumpy shit, this parent has left her child... With a bunch of, like... Like, with, with a bunch of people, and, and also just, like, left her unattended, like, multiple yeah. points, and it was just, it didn't seem very responsible, and this child was given... Tang tangled a five out of ten. Like it was all adding up, and I was like, "No, this like teach your boyfriend to pull child. out, just 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 teach your boyfriend to pull out." Contraceptives exist. 
Like, now, the, she why had, is this child breathing? She's not like the biggest advert for contraception. Literally. Just show people that child. Like, pop a condom on. Yeah, but like, watch the wear a condom. Look at this off. child. What's tangled? Five out of ten. There you go. There we are. That should be the adverts. Pop a condom on. So you don't have this cretin. <laughs> That'd be a great slogan, wouldn't it? <laughs> pop this on so you don't have a cretin. <laughs> pop a sock on. Fuck the child. <laughs> <laughs> like oh. Sorry. Context. <laughs> Out of context, nerdy Brit. Uh, big up. Um, oh, go are on. you, Fraser Oliver, uh, familiar with um, salt and shake crisps? Right. I, I am. I've heard about these in the last week way too many times. <laughs> in what way have you heard about well, I, salt I heard about it on a podcast, and I was Wait, like, "What podcast are you in?" Jack is happy. <laughs> I yeah. have not. Oh, okay. I have not listened to that. So he had um, Michael and Henry Whitehall on Jack Whitehall's parents. I need to listen. And to it that, was yeah. great. It was a great episode. And I've now started listening to their podcast. They've got a podcast together. So Jack good. Whitehall's parents. No, not it's the greatest them. thing ever. It's so cool. Um, and and they were talking about you know they, they did oh what meal deal because they were curious as to what like seventy five or what Michael Whitehall likes and he was like. Oh, I used to like those like salt and shake crisps, and everyone's like, "That's so mental." It's like I used to put a bit of, like malt vinegar in there, and salt and vinegar. I was like, nah, that's, "That's wrong." And then I that's saw fucking them... sorry. That's <laughs> fucking vile. <laughs> that is horrid, isn't it? It's... That's I don't actually... like salt and vinegar, but even if I did, that's still horrible. Wet vinegary <laughs> salty crisps, just. Oh, that's horrible. That's rank. That's actually vile. And then I saw it in a um, YouTube video where they were, and it was like that's why crisps were ready salted because they've already got the salt on them, which I didn't know, which is quite interesting. But genuinely, I, unrelated to all of that, yeah. In my notes, I had salt and shake crisps because the thought just popped into my mind, and I was just there thinking, why they don't they're not going to stick to the crisps. Oh, the salt is not going to stick to those crisps. You're just going to have to salt at the bottom of the bag. Well, right. Don't give a fuck about that. I do. Why do you want the enjoyment? I'm not there on my break going, oh, I want a packet of crisps. Wouldn't it be, right, more fun if I could salt my own crisps? Oh, my God. Wow. What a, what a development. God. Who, like, the admin of this is well yes. worth it. Ready salted, sub assembly required. Who cares? Not a fucking Lego. Don't give me fucking like, instructions. It's like IKEA flat pack crisps. Like, I don't want, like, what are you talking Just about? Give me a pack of walkers. But also, coming. let's talk about the logistics of it. If you're pouring salt into a packet of crisps and shaking it, there's nothing to make that salt stick onto those crisps. So they're not going to be any saltier. I just. Like, it's such a dumb idea. I'm just baffled by this idea that someone wants to salt their own crisps. And I get that that was like the original, like that's no. how it used to be done. No, because like back, like back when that was how crisps were, fine. Why are we still making them? We've got ready salted now, so why are we still salting? It's our like own going, crisps? we've got phones, might as well still use our fucking carrier pigeons. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> exactly what it's like. like. Yeah, but just for fun, why don't we use pigeons? Or Sorry. not? Like, I'll just fax you the info. <laughs> Fuck off. Microsoft Word. No, I've got a typewriter, mate. It, no, why? Just it doesn't. Yeah, no, it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. You must fucking horse and car. <laughs> Fuck the car. <laughs> get the Peugeot one hundred and seven. Get me a horse and carriage. Speedboat. Nah. Fuck it. Get the fucking Russian submarine going. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Russians are famous for submarines. Yeah, right? no, they are. Yeah. Pick up. <laughs> I can't say say that. Nah. Cut that out. <laughs> Fuck it, oh, I don't mind. Um, okay. Right. Uh, I've got I've got a question for you, James. Foot women, football, not oh. not not yeah, it's just you know. How oh. we doing? Is it how we doing? Oh fucking hell, hurry up. My phone is loading like a slow grandfather. I think you uh, well, you know, my phone's on the verge of death. Which is fun. Big up my G for everyone involved. Um shut the fuck up. Um do you want to not? Right? Son? Oh, I fucking give up. Who cares? <laughs> oh, there hey! we go! It was worth it. It was worth it. Two ones to the boys. Well, no, not, not two. Not two ones to the girls. <laughs> Mind me. Right. Metaphorical point. 
to the, to the way lads lads yeah. lads it's England but it's the girls that's what I meant I wasn't thinking it was the lads playing that no, night genuine I wasn't you that bang it yeah well, it. right shit so Where you you, Pick up. you like a hot drink don't you, you like a coffee right I, I need it to survive love. yeah okay so first of all I've got into coffee I, I like coffee now which is great how fun is that um so at work right <laughs> I've got into coffee. How fun is that? <laughs> Middle aged grandpa. Uh, over here. <laughs> I've got into coffee. How fun is that? At work, we could have unlimited hot drinks for free. Like, there's a coffee machine in our staff room. It's great fun. Like an instant, and you can get like hot chocolates from it. You can get large. You get anything from it. One of the animal team volunteers comes through, gets a hot chocolate. That's okay. Ten sugars <laughs> in a hot chocolate. Yes. So I was like, George, what are you doing? He was like. Well, I want it to be a sweeter. It's always a hot chocolate, George. Like, if it's a tea, put a couple of sugars in there, fine. But it's a hot chocolate. Ten, no word of a lie. Ten, ten of those little sugar packets in there. I was like, what am I watching in front of me? And he's like, it's not that weird. I was like, it is, George. And I'm going to say it on my podcast. I'm going to prove how weird it is. Because that is Did you actually say the podcast? No, because he knows. Like, it was only me and him there. And he knows oh. I've got it. Because he knows Will. You know Will from college? No. You remember Will? Will. With the Lion King tattoo. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He knows him, so he, Will has got it, so he knows. It's all going on. But yeah, but I was like, that's mental that you put ten sugars in anything, let alone a hot chocolate. This is already by definition quite sugary. Like that is diabetes heart attack. Right? I didn't want to have. He was like, do you want to try something? I was like, no, I don't. Hey, because my have teeth, a fucking aneurysm. <laughs> my teeth will just instantly fall out of my mouth. Ten sugars. I don't know. That, there's, no, that, there's no topic there, but I just, I just like. Ten sugars. Ten sugar. One after the other. So I was like, but surely he was there thinking, nice. right? If I'm having, t- surely you can slowly wean yourself. Surely you go right. What's the difference between ten sugars and nine yeah, sugars? Yeah, I think once you get past what like four or five sugars, it's all yeah. you can. It's, it's, a, it's only so much sweet a drink can be. Like I just, genuinely reckon, if he just puts eight in, he will not know. He wouldn't taste the difference. Or then, a yeah. couple of weeks, six. Or if he went because someone get me one and I got him in and only put eight in, I don't think he'd know. No. And I just, man, that's what I do. So slowly, and then yeah. there'll be none in there. Like a normal person would drink a hot chocolate. If it was a coffee, I'd go have like, three or four maximum, there, George. Have but, have not. But but coffee cho- just tastes but nice. Hot chocolate. Ten. I couldn't. But honestly, I, don't, I don't get I why. Fuming. Why would you drink coffee if you didn't like the taste? And therefore, I had to add sugar. Ten and hot chocolate. Like like tea. I, like I it, tea. like sugar isn't for me in tea. But I get it, like the taste of a hot sweet tea is something that people quite like, so a couple of sugars in a tea I get. Coffee is its own distinct fucking mm. flavour, so I don't really get, like, make, like one at most. See, I, I, I have one in a coffee. Just don't so I fucking quite like need the, it. Coffee like tastes it. nice. Yeah. Coffee's supposed to be a bit bitter. It de- Actually, it depends on the coffee. Like, if it's, because if it's like a, if I go to like Cotton and get coffee, no. But if it's like made here, I'll be like, because I like, because it depends what coffee you get. Mm. Like a cheap that's, coffee, I'd be like, I'm going to put some sugar in there. Because it'll be a bit rank. Well, that's one of the things. I don't like sugary hot drinks anyway. So what I just mm. try and do is I just, tr- like, most of the time I'm buying the cheap shit. I sometimes do just treat myself to a bit of a nicer coffee. Because I drink so much of it. Like, I want to enjoy myself. Well. Yeah, treat yourself. Well, you know, like, the, the little bits of pleasure I get in my life. Like, I might as well, like... <laughs> That sounded so that sad. That sounded You're really depressed. Are you all right? I'm good. The I'm good. sad, the little amounts of pleasure I, I mean, get. I mean, I can talk about this. Yeah, I fucking ain't Western. Oh, I can't stand it. Uh, I, um... Love you, Mum. <laughs> I hate Western, just on top G. Um, <laughs> I have never been uh, in... Uh, in In 2022... Uh, this last month has been my most depressive month. No, I have... Uh, my mental health is in the fucking bin. Um, and I just need to... Like, like, I remember, I think, like, maybe, like, episode 1920, we were there talking, like, mental health, good Falmouth, bad Western. Yeah. It's either we fix Western or we get back to Falmouth we as soon as fucking possible. We get back to Falmouth, I think we've discovered it's get back to get Falmouth back to as soon as fucking possible. There's no fixing this. Uh, I just, I just, they're all cunts. 
I just hate them. I it, can't. Is, it is past fixing. It is. It's done. Like, I, I, I'm surprised we even contemplated fixing Western. Like why? It's like, never going to happen. Why right? did we think that Western could be a happy place yeah, where we we're all happy? I can't, it's only like two weeks now. But are you? Not? <laughs> <laughs> this is taking it right. I'm all good. But I'm good. two weeks, then we're back in. That's why. I, that is all I'm looking at now. I'm like working, and I'm like, right, two weeks. And I can see my shifts going down on my phone's got like an app for it. I'm like, now I can see it going. It's yeah. fine. You two try. weeks. I mean. Get that in your head. You're all good. Can I grab it a lot? <laughs> of course you can. I don't I think, think I we're going to run out of this time fucking Zoom. We can spare one. Let's just like power these up. Did they stack? They did. That's really cool. We can put bottle with empty cans as well. A full can for the bot for the ball and empty cans for the... There we go. Fucking hell, I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, I want to talk to you okay. about... Because I think... You said like a door salesman then. Like, I want to talk to you about something you're going to sell me a product. And to be fair, we could clip this if this turns into a great clip. Mm. But I want us to talk about the best and worst biscuits of all time. Such a great idea. What a Because I've been idea. having some things. Because I had a couple of notes about... Because I, I think I've already talked about how shit rich teas are on yeah. this podcast. Because I had another note, but I was thinking we can expand this into some bangers and some not bangers. I think... Genuinely, the most overrated biscuit of all time. Yeah, is the Jammy Dodger. Oh, okay. And why? I'm curious. It's a bit of shit in it. No, I love a Jammy Dodger. Because the jam isn't very nice. The biscuit is one of the least flavourable biscuits of all time. It's not particularly dippable. Oh, that's that's true. It's gone on dippability rating. <laughs> Jammy Dodgers are in the bit. And dippability rating we only, is so... Should we go entirely on dippability? <laughs> yeah, right. Because that's, like, cause, cause that's a whole different game. Because, like, yeah, dip, dipping a Jammy Dodger... The jam goes mental if you dip it. There's no... Right. no. Point. I'm going to get a list up of you know famous what? biscuits, and then out of ten, I think we should rate them on dippability. I am at... Do you mind if I... Do, do, I, do, do you mind? <laughs> do, do you... In mind. Because I was looking for stuff to do on my Twitch, right? For like random stuff. I was going to do tier lists. I might just do a biscuit tier list. Do you do a biscuit tier list? And then I make it into video for the. There we go. Right, biscuit tier list. We'll do that. would be great. Right, so I'm... Watch out for that. <laughs> yeah, dippability rating of biscuits. Oh, right. Because it gets. There's, there's a lot that goes into it. List of biscuits. Oh. You. Right. Fucking I need a machine a bit. 26. Here we go. Right. Let's go. This is right. a ranking of 26 biscuits. We'll see, we'll, we'll see if we agree with this. Okay. What a fucking... A fucking Gary Bowley. Yeah, if you, if you yeah, if we dip that in the coffee. No. Get over Dippability, it. zero out of ten. It's a shit biscuit anyway. Biscuit, Fuck off. zero out of ten. Fruit shortcake. Oh, I'm not 70. I'm not dipping like, it in tea. Like, if you are, like, in, like, your care home or something, eating a fruit shortcake... I think it's time to pull the life support. Yeah, I, th- I think you're right. I think like, you're done. Give I, up on yourself. There's nothing else going to happen. I just leave it. Like, there. You're just, you're just shit. Yeah, if I get to the point where I'm eating a fruit shortcake, James, can you shoot me, please? Right. Yeah. No. If you ever see me eating a fruit, please just shoot me in the head. Now I don't want to play into stereotypes. Oh, here we go. Here. I don't want to play into stereotypes here, but ginger nut biscuits are fucking quality. I've never had. Should we get one for the next podcast? What do you mean? I've never had a ginger You've nut never biscuit. had a ginger nut biscuit? No. I've never had a ginger nut biscuit. Is that weird? I don't think so. Ginger nut... Ginger, genuinely, ginger nut biscuits. And in terms of dippability... Is it good? Great dippability. Lovely taste. Fucking brilliant. I'll try some. We'll try and get them for the next podcast that isn't the one we're going to record after this because it's not going to happen. Mm. So the next... I'll try a ginger nut biscuit on the podcast at some point. Big up episode 24. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, in this ranking, Rich Tees come in there. Wait, is this... Are they ranking them from worst to best? Worst to best. Okay. Rich Tees we discussed, not dippable, tastes like shit. Uh, why I would will... anyone eat a Rich Dome? I, no, no, let me vouch one thing. No, don't. So I was ill recently. Oh, big up. Yeah, no, but, uh, like, I, I feel like I couldn't eat anything. I, like, I need something, but it can have it can have no flavour because I will just throw it back up. They're like, mm. I've got some riches we had in the cupboard for four years. So I was like, perfect. Ate it. That was fine. There's no flavour to it. So you ever heard of a digestive biscuit? We didn't have any. Honestly, digestives would do that exact thing. We didn't have any digestive biscuits in. Then why do you have fucking rich teas in? Sorry. 
Once you own a packet of rich teas, no that idea. just makes you look worse. No idea. What the fuck is a Viscount? <laughs> Viscount. <laughs> Viscount. <laughs> no, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, a, a fucking fig roll. Fig roll. Is that a biscuit? I've, I've, I've never had a fig roll because no, I am out of ninety. Fig rolls, I'm lost a cunt. <laughs> uh, digestives. Have you ever had digestives and cheese? I, I have. <laughs> I actually you, have. You I was honest, about to. You make, were about to slam yeah, and then I was like, shit, I have. I was like, of course I have. I was like, oh, fuck, that's great, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. No. To be fair, if you've never had digestive with cheese, it sounds digestive and a strong like, cheddar. Basically, is actually what it is, it's like having a cracker. So that I'm has a sweet like, cracker. Because crackers are like, I'm sorry, if you have like a, a cracker, they are wank. They just are. They taste like cardboard. Like, oh, I love it. like, they are horrid. Have you ever had like an actual cracker? Oh yeah. Because they are horrible. I don't want to sound like Wallace and fucking Gromit, but I quite like a bit of crackers and cheese. I did, if it's like a plain cracker though, it tastes. But a digestive is just a better. Yeah. Digestive and cheese. No, uh, a hobnob. Oh, slightly overrated. Yeah. But still it's right, a lot yeah. of fun. I would say it a lot. Of fun. What is that? Nice biscuits, the opposite. Yeah, as I say, ironic. She's got like, sugar all over them. They're like, they don't taste it nice. sugar. I'm like, all you can taste is like the grain. I quite like a chocolate chip cookie. I love a chocolate, chocolate chip cookie. cookie. It's simple. It's simple and, and effective. Effective. They put Maryland on yeah, Maryland they should. They hit different. Oh. They hit different. It's, it's one of those where like, it's simple. they don't need to mess around with it. It's just a mm. chocolate chip cookie. That's all you need. Don't be fucking around with it. And? Dippability rating. Oh, it's so good because like some of the chocolate chips like start to melt and there's like, oh, it's sh- beautiful. Oh, yeah, dip, there's beautiful. nothing like dippability in chocolate chip cookie. What right, are malted milks are fucking dreadful. No, I quite like a malted milk. I think as I grew up, oh, on, I, I quite, quite like, like a malted, malted milk. milk. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind a malted milk. Yeah, of course you do, you fucking Tory. Okay. Um, Pink wafers. I can't. I can't oh, like no, I love it. A lot of these like child. Like I grew up on people. Like they were just everywhere. Like growing up in my house, it's like pink wafers. Like, oh, Instead of the tooth everywhere. fairy giving you like a quid, it's it's really, a fucking yeah. pink wafer. Stocking Christmas was full of pink wafers. I was like, I'll take it. Uh, Jaffa cakes and not fucking Man. biscuit. It's a fucking cake. It's in the name, dickhead. <laughs> So heated, I love it's it. It's a cake. No, it is. It's a shit cake it, with them orange. Sh- oh, they're horrible. Have you heard of Jaffa Cake Donuts? Donuts. Have you heard of them? Have you had one? No. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> We've got them. Do you want to try one? I tried there we go. They, they are the shite. Just, Jaffa Cakes are barely nice as it is. A Jaffa you know Cake Donut? Shit. Specifically for the biscuit portion of this podcast, this might be my favourite podcast. <laughs> great. It's great. In where are we? Joda. What is this? Look at that. We'll split it in half. We'll have half. It's, it is. So it's literally a Jaffa donut. That's focused straight away. That, that was so great. That was not ready. That was, that was content. That was. Bloody <laughs> hell, are you the fucking side, man? I do. I think I am. So I want, I want an analysis on this, James. Well, it looks fucking dreadful. <laughs> it is shy. But like, take a bit what you were, there's no, so the orange is like in the middle. Like there's bits of orange in the, it's, it, I don't, it's, it's horrid. It's dry. Love the dead air. It's <laughs> genuinely, why is that actually all right? I don't like, I can't That's do it. That's actually all right, that is. No, I hate it. I'm, I'm going to continue scrunning that. I, I guess actually, I don't know, but it's. That is great. Um, shortbread is fucking elite. I fucking love a shortbread. Dippability, like, mm. honestly, shove one of those in my ass for sex. I'm crazy. Do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> There's your quote of the week. <laughs> Forget the other one, Jess. That's your quote of the week. <laughs> You're quite, uh, so I quite like baking shortbread. I do it like, here, I do it all the time. So at the house, don't worry, I'll be baking shortbread all the time. I was expecting that story to be a lot longer, and you're just like... I break shortbread a lot. So in the house. I'm gonna bake shortbread. Right? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> uh, chocolate hop <hobnob. laughs> <laughs> What is that? Brilliant. It was just your chocolate hot dog. <laughs> I'm 
All right, thanks. <laughs> we need to do more. This is this is this is peak this me is our me niche. Up. Peak me up. Uh, yeah, exists. Um, <laughs> ch- ch- <laughs> 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 I can't talk about chocolate. <laughs> Fucking party! If you're dipping a party ring, I don't mind the party ring. But dipping a party ring. Um, chocolate digestives. Oh. Dark chocolate digestives is the peak of human now, here's the existence. Thing. You've got to break them in two though if you're dipping them. You can't dip exactly. a whole. Exactly. You dip a whole. What are you doing? Like the, you eating that is going to be a logistical nightmare for you. Mm. Just break it in two and you'll be fine. Things are because you've got to think about it. What you want to do? Because you don't. Sure, it, as long as most of it's dipped, you don't mind. No. You need you need a handle, and therefore you break it in two, fits in nicely. Because yeah. then what you because then you want to shove the whole thing in your mouth. Yeah, big up. Um, yeah. But what if you just dip the old biscuit in? Then, then you get some bits that are like wet and get very soggy very quickly, and you've got some bits that are completely dry. Yeah, it's just get your fucking technique get sorted. In half, your wombo. You got, yeah. You... Uh, jamming dodgers, We've... dreadful. Um, bourbon creams, yeah. not dippable. No, but I love them. Quite nice. I quite like a I, But a dippability of a bisque, honestly... D- it's such a big factor. It might be the biggest factor. Well, taste. Taste, but, taste does matter. Yeah. But dippability is... is quite, oh, jam? Fucking jam and cream is sixth best biscuit of all time. I quite like jam. Not of all time, but I do like a jam and cream. They remind me of Christmas. It's more like the, the centre. It's just like, just squeaky shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're on laughing at me. What? How's a white chocolate oh thing that big on this list? list? How is it above just a normal chocolate thing? Bayonies! Oh no, I, th- I thought you- I thought those were like different- No, they were being nice. Those are quite nice. What do but... you think it was? Because that was very, like, you were- Like the weird, like, circle ones. Oh, like the Vinnie's Worlds. Yeah. yeah like the jam and they're cream and They're fucking them. dreadful. They're not- cr- They just oh, crumble. They just disappear. Oh, um, I-, I Depends how much effort you want to put into editing, so I'll just give some context. Oh, uh, you know what? I might even overlay them. Yeah, I reckon this should be a clip. Oh, this will be a clip. I, uh, I've just seen what's second, which is absolutely fuming me, but third, third is a custard cream. Oh, wait. Might be controversial, but it is dippable. I, no, I, I, quite like a, I quite like a custard cream. It's a classic. Lovely. Don't I, mess with the classic. Custard is better than bourbon. Yeah, no, I agree. How's that fucking biscuit? It's got cake in the name. It's like Jaffa cakes all over again. And tea, tea cakes cake. are shit anyway. Fucking little tea cake. You could, no one could see that. Why not? No. Chocolate rounds are a great biscuit. Why are they Why first? Why they first? Of all time? Oh, I'm sorry. That's ridiculous. But dippable. Dippable, but ridiculous. Right, is this weird? What I do with that sort of biscuit is I would dip it, Pop it in my mouth and take it out, like take some chocolate off. No, just I get the chocolate that. experience, and yeah. then you get yeah. the scram. No, I get that. Yeah, because you get some of that nice melty chocolate There's levels. Exactly. Yeah, as there should be. A wee little bit of melted chocolate. Boom, 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 boom. Pepperoni. Yeah, chocolate yeah. latte, my chocolate chocolate. Have the women won yet? Oh. Hopefully. Yes. Have they won? Well, well, then. Congrats. Up the. Nerdy Brit, Nerdy Brit. Yeah, that was a highlight of last night. Let's just get, I was going to say that when we were singing your name to a song. I can't remember what song it was, but it was quite fun. Honestly, my favourite part of last night was Yellow. Oh, that was so good. So and was, then they followed it up with shit. Like, so there, was, there was a band doing, just, play, just playing songs at this fair. Which, this by thing. the way, I love a live band. Like, live music, always great. Live music is better. Always great. And they played a version of Yellow. Honestly, highlight of my life. Never I've never there. seen so many drunk people run into... You know, like the tent where the music was, and then like food bands and everything, as soon as Yellow started playing, everyone was in that tent. And then they just played some shit after it. I was like, yeah, my dear. It was not ideal at all. Right, let, let me let me look at my notes. See what I'm, I'm not sure whether to set, because cause we're getting to the what end. I feel like I've got a big Ooh, note that I might okay. be able to save. Just because it's yeah. such a big note, I think we could be talking about it for 20 minutes. Okay, uh, I've got a couple of little notes. Do you want Can't a little note? Yeah, because I don't have any more notes. So, a big note. I big want a big note. I... Big, big foot. What a G. Want your, so, I have figured something out about myself recently, Jay. That sounded way too philosophical. I'm, ha! I'm get, uh, no, so, <laughs> I went ha! No, <laughs> you went, there we go. I'm um, I cannot write anymore. Like, my handwriting is primitive now. Like, because I haven't had to write anything. Like everything, like even uni was all like on computers, little blocks we did notes. I went to write something yesterday and I was like, 
what is that? That's not a word. Mm. Like that, uh, uh, genuinely. And it's like, how mental, like I don't write for a year. Like, like that's a simple skill you learn yeah. very early on in your life, how to write. And now like, and now it's, it's shit. Well, my handwriting has never it's been never good. good. Um, it's not, how did you just cover, what did you have to write to uh, discover this? I was writing, oh, I had to write some stuff at work. And so they were like, oh, can you just like fill this one? I was like, yeah, of course I can. So I was doing it, and I was like, that's not my handwriting. That is all, uh, genuinely awful. Because like, you don't consciously think about your handwriting when you write down. No. So as I was doing it, and I, so I was like, that is the worst, like, I, think, I don't think I ever wrote, I don't know. I love the job they do. I'm not a doctor, I'm a English teacher. <laughs> I say that way too. I just love it. As you should. It's the way it rolls off the tongue. Like, I, like, I cannot remember my handwriting being that bad, is what I was trying to say. Like, I cannot remember a time in my life where I've looked at my handwriting and gone, that is genuinely shocking. Mm. So I think I'm just not going to write anything down from now on. Which is great. Just a typewriter. Yeah. Oh, should I get a typewriter? No. What the fuck? <laughs> it would be cool, though. It'd be cool. It'd be great on a set for phrase all the videos, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, because you kind of have that old, tiny, like, vibe, yeah, don't you? Just like a Muppet history video, you get, like, a typewriter going. Just get some, like, glasses in, just, like, type on the yeah. typewriter. That's how, that's just... how I write my scripts up now. I typewrite them up. Kermit exists. Miss Piggy exists. Is this a song? <laughs> Pepe's a prawn. Oh, yeah. Your mum's a... What I was thinking... Yes. ...is because, obviously, we're getting close to the point where we're... We, we are going to reach the... Mab is going to evolve. It is. Now, Fraser, Fraser, Oliver, I, I am going to come to you yeah. with an official Ooh, proclamation of what I think we should okay. do. Talk to me. I'm listening. So. I've got a business head on now. I think via the nerdy Brit, right. Fraser, Oliver, and Mab... Okay. We should give the people, and then and then it, it might double through Fraser Oliver Live yeah. or the James Skinner stuff I'm trying, but I think we should give the people a video a day. Now hear me out. I you see. are uploading what Tuesday, Tuesday Thursday, Thursday, Saturday. So my proposition to you yeah. is the aim for the Nerdy Brit channel is I would like to be uploading. By September, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, like if we it. can get this to work. Mab Sunday. Mab Sunday. I like it. Would you like to give the people a piece of content every from day. one of us every yes, day that's such till the idea. end of time? Yeah. That's I think such that a great be, idea. I think I'll be sick. So I'll you literally, sick. through the week, go, you get nerdy bit, phrase one, nerdy bit, phrase one, nerdy bit, phrase one, Mab. That'd be I, great. That'd be that would be, yeah. I, and obviously, yeah, in there we'll get if, when the James Skinner stuff gets going. In. That's in there. The phrase of the live stuff. I can't promise I might put up like a quick video if some bit of news comes well, out. Well, yeah, capitalise. Like if, if say a significant enough train yeah. or something comes out where I'm like, probably mm. could talk about this. Do it. Yeah. But but overall, and and what I was saying, I think I was me and Jasper had a little conversation about this. I think when it goes weekly. I think any less than 45 minutes isn't okay for no, me, but I don't, we don't have to put I, I think, think if we get there, brilliant. I think by September, I think I want it to be that, and I want Mab to be, Mab can be, because at the moment we probably do about an hour to an hour and 15. Yeah. Take the pressure off a little bit. Do like 45 to an hour mm. every week. Take over YouTube. Yeah, we will. We will. We will dominate YouTube. That our next year's gonna be like. Because honestly, with the house, I think I can produce three videos a week because yeah. I think I'll have that consistency. And I'm ready. Also, I reckon we stick with the upload schedule, and we give the people a piece of content every day. The whole reason I started uploading three videos a week is because I was ahead by so much. I was like, I'm. I'm gonna have to wait a month to see these videos up. I want like if I when I do a video, I'm like, I want to see that up. Mm. I want to see how it's done straight away. So I was like, well, let's just like push them all back and do three. So like, yeah, as long as you get four a week, that, that by then you're like, well, this is... And it just pushes you to like stay consistent, yeah. keep working hard, keep growing. It'll... Oh, it's going to be Because when you, it, you know, 
logic would dictate, unless, unless and I, I, and I am 90% sure this won't be the case for me at least, and I, it hasn't yeah. been the case for you so far, unless the quality of each video drops because yeah. you're uploading more, logically, if you're doing two, eight, making, producing two videos that you've given 8 out of 10 a week, yeah, if you produce a third of that, you grow by an extra, you, you, your growth times by 1.5. Yeah. So uh, it's, why not? Exactly, why not? Imagine that, a piece of content from either one of us or both of us mm. every day. Every day. That would be, oh, you're so lucky. That's, Aren't you lucky? That's what I think would be the sickest idea. Yeah, it works. You know, that, oh, that's such a good idea. We're, we're so we're so kind. We're so selfless. We're, 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 we'll get there. We're really selfless. And, and, and that's at least. Now, yeah. I think we can do more than that. Oh, yeah. But you, you get stuff up on the live, I'll get stuff up on my side. Well, because there are days where, like, I know there'll be live stuff going up on the same day as the yeah. main channel one. So it's all, it's all going up. I mean, I probably won't... I... It's it's one of those things where I will probably not upload, like I wouldn't upload on like the Nerdy Brit and James Skinner okay. on the same day. But for example, on like, on like, like I don't know, I could make Saturday the James Skinner day yeah. if I wanted to, and then yeah. bang that out. But I'm got I've got the consistency. I'm ready to bang it out and smash it. Okay, so come September, class. you're gonna be flooded with content from us. There's gonna be content flowing. Oh, I'm fully confident with the ideas I have and the stuff I've started to write down in preparation. Uh, I'm I'm ready to be one of the biggest Doctor Who YouTubers in the scene. Uh, I'm ready to I'm ready for this podcast to bang. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be honestly. I'm I'm not even saying that sarcastically. No. I've got so I've genuinely in some of the stuff and like the ideas that have been brewing and the 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 the, the style I want to take this shit in. Um, the, yeah. the, the the Nerdy Brit channel, this this time next year, the Nerdy Brit channel is going to be one of the biggest Doctor Who channels in the game. You wait. You wait. Just you wait. Just that you might wait. might be a bit exaggerated, but fuck it. It's okay. That's fine. Confidence is all exactly. we like. Confidence is key. Hey, there we go. Niche yeah, reference. Part of condom, confidence is key. I think we can end on that. That was a nice note to end on. Part of condom, confidence is key. Confidence. Exactly. Well, yeah. Uh, and, English you know, is hard. Giving you guys content because we're amazing and you love it. Uh, shout out to all our regulars. Big up. Hope you're enjoying this. You know this. who you are. You know who you are. Your, your Katie's. Your Katie's, your Matt's. Your Jess. Do we, do we give her a shout out? Oh, we have. No, it's kind of, we, we, we gave her the quote. That's kind of a shout out. Uh, Oops. Hope your days are all going well. Yeah. Um, subscribe to Fraser. Yeah. Subscribe to him. Thanks. Cheers. You're welcome. Uh, bye. Uh, bye, Rubicon. Yes. Tweet. If you have Twitter, yes. tweet Rubicon. Saying, Mab sent us. Mab sent us. Do it. Just tag them, Mab sent us. On Do Insta. It. Anywhere. On. Anywhere. Go to their, their head posts. office. Ringing, ring their head. Ring. Ring, <laughs> ring, ring. Do ring you know who we are? are? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. I forgot we were still recording.